ladies, I'm back with my first slush haul. It's kind of collective haul because I kind of tried one order and then I went crazy and I didn't have time to haul the video. So if you hear any ruckus in the background, it's my dogs because they're crazy. So I'm going to get started and I'm pretty much a huge Lush fan now. And I made a mist stuff when I collected it in my bedroom to show you guys, but that's alright. We'll do it anyway. And I'm going to start with two really big items. And one I have used, and it's called the Comforter Bubble Bar, and it's amazing! And you do not have to use a lot of this, guys. And I have all my stuff wrapped in tin foil for the moment. And you can see, you move this back, that I have cut it up. There it is. Look how cute. Oh. And I used one piece already. Here's a little piece. This stuff smells so good. Oh my god. It's supposed to be black currants. But, I don't know what the heck it is. I love it. I would buy anything with that smell. Okay, my dog is crazy. Shush. And then I got the, I haven't tried this yet, the Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb, which I bought basically on scent because it's phenomenal. And it is broken in half because I just went to pick it up and it broke in half, which that was easy. So you'll actually get to see the centerpiece of this here. See that? It's orange. Oh, it's supposed to smell like sherbet. Here's the other little half to it. I'm kind of sad and kind of not sad that it just broke. But, well, I guess it's the same as cutting it in half, basically, except without the orange, right? This was kind of expensive for me. And look what I did. Oh, you guys, look. My dogs are going to eat that. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to wash this now. <sighs> okay. Anywho. All right. I also have the um, cupcake facial mask in the freezer and the hair doctor, which I like both of those a lot. And actually the hair doctor, I got a full size for free for my birthday. So that was amazing. I bought a full size chunk of porridge soap because I had gotten samples prior and I loved them. And I've cut some off already and this is like $15. You see I got a really nutty piece. So I love the smell of this. Oh my gosh, I could smell it all day. And yes, I've actually licked it. Because you think, all natural, right? It's oatmeal, right? It's got to taste a little bit like oatmeal. No, don't lick your soap, ladies. Please, be smart. Don't do what I did and lick your soap. I ordered this thing called the Go Green, and it came in this cute little green wrap. And it came with a foot scrubby. I think it's called... Ooh, I don't know. Anyways, it came with a sea vegetable soap. And this is what that looks like. Very pretty. It smells like, yeah, seaweed and like musky, but it's kind of a smell I like. And you can see that I unevenly cut a piece for the shower, but I love it. You'll see on Brian, this is Brian's Fight Club soap. Yeah, I know, Fight Club soap. There's my little hand washing version of my porridge. And of course I got one in the shower. Here's a foot scrub that came with the Go Green. And it smells really good. To me, this is like a mix between the dragon's egg and mint. I know, that's weird. But look, it's a little foot, you guys. It's cute. I haven't used that yet. I get to where I like want to hold on to it. What the heck is wrong with me? I should just use it, right? These are my little containers that I keep my shower stuff in to keep it dry so it doesn't disintegrate. And they go green, which is in my green container. Came with the um, squeaky green shampoo bar. Love it. Makes my hair super soft and shiny. And the jungle conditioner. I'm used to a thick conditioner and feeling it go in my hair. So I was like panicking that I would have to cover up my wonderful jungle lush conditioner that was expensive with an actual conditioner because I couldn't feel it. But it did not. I mean when it, my hair dried it was just like I used conditioner. So I like that a lot. Um, also what came with the Go Green and I don't know why because it's not green was... The tin, doo -doo. and the each peach, and you can tell I've used that, and choose a pair massage bar. And even Brian likes that. It's a miniature version, but I love it. I use it as a lotion after I get out of the shower. And then also, this is green, and you'll see my shower chunk of sea vegetable soap in here as well. And look at my little mini sugar scrub, and it smells good too. It smells green. Like, I can't explain how something can smell green, but it definitely smells green. So, yeah, I'm addicted. I bought, the first time I went there, I was looking for a skincare uh, soap for my face, and I got a big old chunk, and it was like $8, 
for the Fresh Pharmacy Face Soap, which I think stinks. It doesn't stink so much as it has like a weird uh, smell. I guess that means it stinks then, yeah. Whatever. I got um, some soap samples that I'll show you last because I'm lazy. Um, all my sample stuff I'll show you last. And I'm sure there's more of it I've used or whatever. I bought three toner tabs. You can see they're all... I'm only going to unwrap one because they, for the most part, look the same. One's white and two of the other two are green. I got a vitamin C, uh, a tokens of the forest, and a, my favorite, tea tree. I'm going to open one up and show you what it looks like. And the reason I wrap them in tin foil is because it keeps all the scents separate. So you can mm, smell what they actually smell like tea or tea tree and what you do is you just heat up some water and put your face over it and let it evaporate and come up into your pores and you can feel it, it feels awesome makes your skin feel super duper duper clean afterwards and um, you can also save the water according to the Lush Rat afterwards and you can use it as a toner for a couple of days so bonus okay I know I'm dumb I'm dumb I know all right I ordered online for my Go Green or Green, Get Green, whatever. You know what I mean. And they sent me some samples. And I got the Gorgeous Moisturizer. The Cosmetic Lad Moisturizer. Ooh. The Lush Dream Wash Shower Smoothie, which reeks. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Yeah, it stinks. I don't even know what it smells like. I hate it. But maybe it works good. The Ocean Salt Facial Cleanser. And that kind of stinks, but kind of smells good, if you can say that. Okay, so there's those. And here's my soap samples. And, of course, the sample is what led me to fall in love with porridge soap. I can tell you what I didn't fall in love with that I thought I was going to because everyone else fell in love with was the honey I washed the kids' soap. It smells good. Don't get me wrong, guys. But I didn't think it was, like, that phenomenal. Maybe I got a crappy chunk, and I'm sad because I didn't even get any honeycomb in my chunk, actually. So, yeah, that makes me a little bit sad, because that was, like, kind of the fun part, right? And I know that looks huge from there, but it's not. I mean, I like the sweetness to it, I guess. I'll stick with porridge. It's my favorite. I'm not sure about Rockstar. See? Rockstar. But I did get a nice little, like, hand-washing soap slab. And this is supposed to smell, I think, like the candy bubby, bubble bar? Bubby bar. Yeah. yeah. That's it, Danielle. I got a sandstone sample, which I may buy a full chunk of because it's lemony, fresh, and delicious without smelling like pine salt. Mm. And it's got the layer of sand at the top. Do you see that? Love it. I got the ice blue, which I might buy a chunk of because Brian likes that. And we also had the um, 13 Dangerous for Dirt, or Unlucky for Dirt soap, which we used all of. Woohoo! And this is the Ice Blue, which is also really pretty. So you can see it. And lastly, to wrap up my video on my Lush products, which I'm super excited about, is the Sultana of Soap, which is really... Don't look at soap, Dottie! You see her? Look at the dang soap. She's nasty. Okay, well, I did it too, so... There we go. And I've heard good things about the soap. It's super duper creamy, which makes up for the fact that I don't really care for the smell. It's a little too perfumey for me. But, hey, look at my drawer. Not too bad, right? Right. Okay, guys. Um, that's it for my Lush. And check out my new videos on Bubbles, Bobbles, and Wicks, which is kind of a cheaper alternative to really good products that are similar to what Lush makes. Also, I think I'm going to be doing eventually my own tutorial on how to make your own shower jellies basically it's super easy and super cheap so when i make that i hope you'll tune in and give it a go and i'll see you guys soon bye